tonight we've got baseball from the banks of the Allegheny PNC Park in Pittsburgh. Bert Blylevin is on the mound for game two. Dan Plezak, what do you got? It's pretty easy to see why this guy is one of the top pitchers in all of baseball. He has a ridiculously good whip. How about under .5 on the season? Do you have any idea how hard that is to do that? He's nearly impossible to reach base on. He doesn't walk hardly anybody, and he's awfully tough to get a hit off of. One of the best pitchers in the game of baseball. And there's one gone to start the night. And now a chance to meet the Mets. Danny, who stands out to you? Matt, I think there's some concern about Michael Conforto right now. He went 0 for 3 last game. No big deal. Only three ABs. But it was the way in which he looked going about those ABs. He didn't have a good look to him at all. We'll see if he can bounce back in this one. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0 and 2. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. And it's fouled away. The next 0 2. Is swung on and missed strike three. Made pretty quick work of him right there, setting him down on only four pitches. And what I liked about all of those pitches, what they were down around the knees or lower. Pretty hard to do any kind of damage when pitches are located in that spot. A ball and a strike. Two out, nobody on. A bouncer to the left side. Throw cleanly into first, and that ends the inning. Down in order go the Mets. And now the Pirates will take their turn in a scoreless ball game. Noah Syndergaard will be on the bump for game two of the series. What's your take on him, Dan? Well, coming on now, a guy with some of the best stuff in all the game, Noah Syndergaard. Big fastball approaches triple digits. And one of the things that separates Syndergaard from most of the other starting pitchers in baseball, that hard slider he'll throw anywhere between 92 and 96 miles an hour. Nothing tricky about Syndergaard, power pitcher deluxe. Now a moment here at PNC to take a look at the Pirates lineup card in this one. Dan Plezak, who are you focused on? Yeah, Matt, I think Wander Franco is certainly a guy we are excited to watch play today. He's averaging over an RBI game over his last 10, and I'll tell you what, that's being a total difference maker. It seems like every time he has a runner on base, he's relaxed. He understands what he's trying to do, and he's driving most of them. Very, I mean, very dangerous right now. And that'll get down for what should be extra bases. Digging hard. He's headed for third. And he is in to third with a two-out triple. The speed they always talk about with this guy was on full display there. Yeah, when you've got elite speed like this guy does, Matt, you don't need any help from the fielders to give you more time. He's thinking extra bases as soon as the ball gets to the outfield. Now, meanwhile, this ball's going to get through, and that's a base hit. And the run will score as the Pirates are on the board first. It's one to nothing. I know we sit up here and talk about it a lot. Just grabbing the momentum, trying to tack on early runs as quick as possible. It allows the pitcher to go out there, relax, attack the strike zone. It keeps everybody involved. That two-out RBI, I know it's early, but that just gives everyone a chance to just relax and compete. And a pitch out, nothing doing, though, and that's ball one. Bay leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning. Now a ball crushed high in the air, deep to left, way back there, and that one is long gone. What a way to start this one off. Scoreless top of the frame, and you answer with a bomb in the bottom of the first. Next to hit is Willie Stargell, one of the better hitters Willie. in the game this year, currently seventh Stargell. in the National League batting race. After it is Brantley. Around first, digging for two. And now that'll hop over the wall. So he'll be at second here with two away on a ground rule double. Next to hit, Key Brian Hayes. He's come up in big spots like this more than once this year. Currently second in the NL in RBIs. Now a reaching grab as he makes. And that brings up Javi Baez. And as you check out his righty lefty splits, no surprise that he hits better against southpaws than he does against right handers. Love the early lead, but this game is far from over. Got to stay on top of what you're trying to do out there and execute pitches. 
into the corner and slicing foul. Ready with the 0 2. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first out. Yeah, as they say, there's a hole in his swing in that location, so a good job there of exploiting that. That can be real hard for some guys to overcome when teams start figuring out what locations you just can't handle. That was some smoke right there. High fire right on by. Alonzo tends to have more success against right handed pitching like this than he does against southpaws. Could be a comfort thing. Maybe he just picks up the ball a little better, but that's the book on him at this point. So it was a swinging strike three. Pete Alonzo is sent packing for out number two in the inning. Michael Conforto is in with two away here as this one swung on and missed for the first strike. And he falls behind 0 and 2. He's one pitch away from striking out the side. Threw it right past him, a swing and a miss at the gas, and that ends the end. Last half of the second set to go, and that'll give way to the rookie second baseman, Rodolfo Castro. I'm interested to see how focused they're a High and deep to center field, a ball that's carrying. On the warning track, he makes the catch. Batting nut. Okay, no here's how the Mets are lining up defensively. In the outfield, Michael Brantley. This guy broke the Indians franchise record for consecutive games without an error in 2013. Has great range and is very sure handed out there. Always going to make the play. Fellas these Mets as they enter play here tonight they come into this one in need of some kind of spark to turn them around as they find themselves in the midst of a five game slide. Yeah I get it Matty the team's on a moderate losing streak right now. Can't be happy with the way they played but they have to find a way to relax a little bit. Everybody goes through these little stretches these little valleys throughout the course of a long season. This team should right itself and it needs to start today. Now, now in the box Wander Franco hit it hard but lined out in his first at bat. Yeah Matty but as he walks to the plate right here he feels good. Hot shot to first base and a great play to end the. Back now in Pittsburgh, home of the Pirates, who've certainly benefited from some solid pitching all season long. Coming into the day, they ranked first in the league in both ERA and strikeouts, a combination that has opposing lineups searching for answers. One member of the staff told me, it's a special group of guys. I've never been on a pitching staff that's so dominant top to bottom, and I've been on some pretty good ones. Now one of the hitters on the team told me I'm relieved I get to stand behind them and play defense instead of staring them down in the box. That can't be fun. Matt back to you. All right Heidi thank you. Popped up Stargell is under it. He hauls it in without any trouble and there are two away. Now to the plate the pitcher Noah Sindergaard. This guy is still looking at a zero in the hit column. One and oh the count. Swing and a miss one and one. Well, as demonstrated there, that's a tough pitch to do anything with. <laughs> yeah, good luck. But hey, a high fastball all of a sudden becomes really dangerous for a pitcher if it's not spotted above this. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do. Ready now is Andrew McCutcheon as we move on to the bottom of inning number three. The center fielder, Andrew. The first pitch is hit pretty well out to right. Right fielder looking up for the track to the wall and it's gone as they add still another. We've seen that before out of Andrew McCutcheon. He just loves hitting at this ballpark in Pittsburgh PNC. This guy's hit some big home runs in this ballpark now over the back. years. Right it's fielder. pretty apparent Yay. he loves hitting back home in Pittsburgh. Down the left field line and deep but this will wind up being a foul ball. That's lifted the other way out to left. Brantley on the move. He's there and records the first down. Now batting. Left so field. next to bat will be Jason Bay. One run in and one gone so far in this inning. And that one yanked just foul. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off speed stuff. But this guy's locating and feeling really good about his fastball. Two back to back. Hard liner, but picked up on a hop. And he'll whip this one over to first, and he gets his man for the second out. 
Two down, no one on base, and the dependable Jason Kendall stands in. Yeah, that this guy's been as advertised. We heard that if this guy could get his foot down, he could get wood on a bullet. That last pitch and that last A.B., that was triple digits, Matty V., and he still turned it around. You can relate, Dan. So what's now going through the pitcher's mind right base, now? And they've had some good at-bats really? against him all game long. It, it seems like it's just been hard hit after hard hit. As we take a look at his line here, the numbers do not lie. This has not been one of his better outings, and he'd be the first to tell you that. Line. That's a base hit in the left field. The batter, the third baseman, Key Brian Hayes. Key Brian Hayes digging in now. That's a strike to throw down. Not in time. And how about that for Daring? It's a two out double steal. Brentley gets under it and makes the catch to end the inning. One in the inning for the Pirates on this solo. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see what kind of adjustments these hitters are able to make in the middle innings of this game. Pulled toward right center field. Center fielder giving chase. He makes the catch. A great effort to get there and record the first out of the inning. J.D. Davis the next at bat struck out in his first at bat yeah and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball you could tell he was late on that one and we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. McCutcheon well range to his left and put it away two down here's Michael Brantley two away in the inning and Dan it looks like this could be another one two three inning for him. Yeah, he has really found a groove on the mound, and it's been impressive to watch. It'll be interesting to see how long he can keep this dominance up. In there, and he's in control 0-2 now. There's another pitch for a strike. And Looking at a fastball to end the inning. Let's go down 1-2-3. They're down 4 nothing. Let go. The Wheels and deals. The Here's the man. first pitch. Hard hit ball to second. There's Baez. And the throw to first is in time. One gone. Now batting the pitcher. First. Blylevin. So here now is the pitcher, Bert Blylevin. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Now a swing as he rifles this one into center for a base hit. Yeah, and you can take a look at his numbers here. With that one out single, he's flirting with a little trouble here again. You'd like to see him find a way to get out of this inning and battle for another inning or so, but you also don't want him to give up a big number. In there, a base hit. Now battle, center fielder, Andrew McCutcheon. Into the box now, Andrew McCutcheon. Hard hit towards center. Nimmo is there, two gone. Now battle, and that right brings two. in the Cobra, Yay. Dave Parker. Two men on, Parker. two away here in the fourth. First pitch on its way. Into center field, line drive base hit. Now a long throw home. But this won't be in time as he's well safe and the run scores. With that hard double, you get a glimpse to see why this guy is a legitimate MVP candidate this season. Whenever he gets a chance to produce, he seems like he takes advantage of it. Great example there. Next to bat will be Jason Bay. He hits here in a spot where he might be able to put this one out of reach. Yeah, man. And the second run will score as this suddenly is now a 7 nothing ball game. To the plate now, Jason Kendall. And he puts it on the ground to second. Baez ranging to his right. On to second for the force out. In the Welcome back. Heidi Watney standing by as we get set for the top of the fifth. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. The second base. 
High in the air down the right field line. Parker's under it. Looks it into his glove and there's one gone. First offering on its way. The wind up and the 0 1. Fastball called for strike two. Hey, make no mistake about it. This lineup's going to have to get going and get a little bit more aggressive. This guy's pounding the zone. And he struck him out. And that's eight strikeouts thus far. The right fielder, number 30. Michael, Michael Conforto will stand Conforto. in for the second time now as he looks at a called strike. It's nothing in one. That elevated fastball right there, that is the biggest change in the game today for me. When I first came up, a lot of guys working at Greg Maddox east to west. The 0 2 once more. Still no balls and two strikes. Conforto behind the ball and two strikes. That hook stayed up in the zone. You can see he struggled with that curveball early. But we'll have to press pause as that strike three to retire the. Welcome back for the bottom of the fifth. Here's Heidi Watney. Ready to go for the last half of the well, inning Harvey. and set to go is the, the veteran first, base first baseman, Willie, Willie. Stargell. Stargell. Skied into straightaway right. Conforto will wait on it. One pitch, one away. Now batting. Final Third line there for the Mets starting pitcher. Not the night he or his club hey. were hoping for. One of the tough things to do when you're trying to have a good pitching performance is keep the ball in the ballpark. He was filling up the strike zone, but he did allow two home runs. First delivery to him. Hit on the ground to third. Davis grabs it cleanly. Throw on to first takes care of him. Two very quick outs to start the home fifth. Now back. Base. Next, it'll be Rodolfo Castro. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Yeah, I understand that, Matty, but this guy's got burner wheels down the first baseline. I don't think he even concerns him. And we'll just leave it there as they make the play. To Top half of the sixth about to get started, and that'll bring up the switch hitting shortstop, Francisco Lindor. 0 and 1 the count. Fouled off. Trying to send him packing for the second time. And he fouls this one off. Fouled away. Now here it comes. And he struck him out. So double digits now. Ten strikeouts for him thus far. The catcher, number three. First pitch on the way. And it's fouled away. Hey, the guy on the mound is absolutely pounding the zone, and that's why he's been able to stay and pitch deep into this game. That's in there. And he's deep in the hole now, 0-2. And he struck him out. And there's strikeout number 11 in the ball game. Well, he's really rolling on the mound right now. All you have to do is look at the last four hitters for evidence. All four of them have gone down on strikes, as you're seeing here. That's not easy to do, so you know he's got to be pretty dialed in out there. Hard ground ball to third. Scooped up. Throw to first, beats him easily, and the side is retired. Carlos Carrasco gets the call to pitch here, and he'll try to sort this mess out. He's going to try to at least eat a couple of innings for his guys. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. Hit back up the middle. Oh, a diving effort as it's off his glove. And he'll make it to first easily on what will almost certainly be ruled an infield single. That brings up Wander Franco. He scored after knocking a single in his last at bat. Nice effort by the shortstop right there. Kept it in front of him. That's a, that's all he could do right there, Dan. You know, Dealer in a spot like that, that's an now infield that, single. That's a field. tough play. Just to and knock through. that ball down was a pretty good Mark job. But Huffman. any way you look at it, that should be scored a base hit, and I'm sure it was. 
In now, Andrew McCutcheon. And on the first pitch, he grounds foul. He's working on a one for three thus far. Here's the 0 1 to the left side, but it's well foul. Carrasco has pitched just under 60 innings, and through those innings, he's worked to a whip under 1.20. League average is around 1.3, so that's a respectable number. There's one on to first, and they get them both. The tag's there, and he is out. A triple play. So here's Brandon Nimmo. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ballgame. He swings and hits it foul off to the right and out of play. The windup and the 0 1. Lifted down the line in left. But this is going to wind up a foul ball. High in the air out to center field. Long run for the center fielder. He's there and records the first down. Now at the plate, here is J.D. Davis. Flew out last time up. And he gets ahead 0-1. What a performance so far. Throwing first pitch strikes to 90% of the batters. It's hard to get any better than that. Fouled off. One out, nobody on. Got him. So that's the second out of the inning. And he's seven outs away now. Well, it's been a rough series for him at the plate so far. That's four strikeouts in the first two games, so this pitching staff clearly has him figured out. You know, over the course of a full season, you're going to have some clunkers, and this certainly looks like one. By the look on the manager's face, he's going to probably call a meeting after this. And he fouls this one off. No runs, no hits, and no errors on the Mets line score so far. And he struck him out to retire the side, so he's through. Last half of the seventh here, and next will be a speed thread in the form of outfielder Dave Parker. Now here's the pitch. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Brantley is under it, and that's the first out of the inning. So now to the plate, Jason Bay. So far, two for three in this one. He's set. Here it comes. Hit to third. A diving effort here as he gets a glove on it. On the recovery throw is in time to get the out at first. What a heads up play. Now batting. Catcher. At the plate, Jason Kendall hit hard to short. That gets through for a base hit. He's now three for four in this one. Hey, this guy's obviously seeing the ball right now. That's another hard hit single. Three for four right there. He's looking super solid at the plate. Stepping in now, Willie Stargell. Drilled right back up the middle. And the inning will continue as that's through for a two-out hit. And he is in there. Wow, how quickly things can turn around in this game. He gets the first two outs of the inning, and he looks like he's on cruise control, thinking that he'll get out of the inning without even breaking a sweat but then a single and a double and now he's stuck with runners on second and third standing in now key Brian Hayes and this is turning ugly now as this balls down for extra bases and the run is in to score from second make it nine nothing up next to Pittsburgh the second baseman Rodolfo. at the plate now Rodolfo Castro as he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory he could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. 0 1 here's the pitch swing and a hard liner to center field. Nimmo will get there and he puts it away to retire the side. So it's two runs on three hits no errors and a runner left on. Here's Javier Baez. We're in the eighth now and nothing's changed out there on the mound. Now nah, they just haven't had much of an answer Matty. They've been off balance and baffled all game. He's got a nice comfortable lead. You have to think he's going to pound the strike zone. But here get aggressive and he struck him out for the first out of the inning but perhaps more importantly he's five outs away now. 
Keith Alonso stands in as he looks at a called strike. Ooh, that was some gas. Triple digits on the radar gun. Got him. Four outs away from his date with history. Well, a huge out number two here in the eighth. Four outs remain, but the finish line is starting to come into focus now. Fouled away. Bases are empty here with two men out. Big swing and a miss at the fastball, and he's behind in the count 0-2. Hey, and the beat goes on. That's number eight. Got him. So that's eight perfect innings, and the fans can feel it now as the side is... Now at the plate, Bert Vlylevin. He's been great on the mound, so we'll see if he can do something with the bat here as well. He's earned a chance to take this at bat. Yeah, Matt, when a guy's throwing the ball as well as he has, it kind of forces the manager's hand to stay with him. He's been exciting to watch, and he's really had this crowd behind him the entire game. Again, another foul ball. The 0 2 home. Now a bouncing ball for the shortstop Lindor. Reined in. And there's one away. No batter, that was so it. the lineup flips over shortstop. and digging in. Wander Franco. Last time through was a base hit. First pitch of the AB now. Hard hit ball to second. Baez fields it cleanly. And there's out number two. So the next to the plate for Pittsburgh, Andrew McCutcheon. He's got one hit in four at bats. Drilled on the ground is short, right to him. And eight innings have come and gone now as the inning is over. And that'll bring in the switch hitting Francisco Lindor, starting things for his side in the ninth as they face the improbable odds of trying to come back in this one. Yeah, not a lot of hope for them at this point. These guys know these bats still count. At least for their own stats, you can't mill in your chances as a professional. And here's a pitch swung on and missed one and two now. Weak grounder down the first baseline. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. And another one. Strikeout number 17 in the ball game as he keeps racking them up. Now here's the pitch. Tomas Nido is in for the third time as he looks at a ball high. It's 1 and 0. And he takes a cold strike one. Hey, that's a heck of a pitch right there. If, he did, if he's able to execute with that type of velocity, fastballs up and in, I can't imagine. Not only is he going to break a ton of bats today, but he's going to open up that down and away with the soft stuff later in the game. Struck him out. 18 strikeouts for him now. Dominic Smith will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Now the first pitch. And it's fouled away. He'll attempt to put the ball in play for a change here with the first two guys going down on strikes to start the inning. Fouled off. He's still looking really solid here in the ninth, and I'm sure that big lead has helped him pitch free and easy, but to me, it still looks like he's approaching it like it's a close game. Now this crowd of over 38,000 on their feet. Swing and a miss. He's done it. A perfect game. Yeah, you've heard when it rains, it pours. Well, it was raining dominance out here in this one. 27 up, 27 down, and he barely broke a sweat half the time. That's one of the rarest feats in all of sports, and I'm just excited I was here to be a part of it. Perfection is always beautiful.